Hello, amigos. For the channel, we go here along with TMC Cookie. And um, this is let's play of Mario Galaxy 2 in part 63, I'm guessing. And um, we're in World 6. I thought it was like and, 50 something. Well, uh, I remember going into the 60s, but uh, I remember you going into the 50s, not so much the 60s. Green Star. Yeah. Oh, and these first six stars are dicks. Yeah. I've not never so actually... Not so much the first two, and not so much the fourth and the fifth, but definitely the third one and the sixth one in this video. Yeah, I've, I've never even gotten all the gold stars in Galaxy 2. I did, and it's too time oh, consuming yeah, obviously. and repetitive. <laughs> Extremely. Yeah, especially the green stars. Uh. The green stars are fun. Oh, yeah. this so this is the ocean theme. Uh, yeah, I love this. <laughs> it's probably like the most nostalgic for me in the game, so I chose that one. So the one that's the one my favorite song from the game is the one where you're fighting that big old snake thing in the wind temple. Oh yeah, I can't really remember the song actually. I don't, I only remember. Uh... It's in it's in brawl. That's all I know. <laughs> It's yeah, in Brawl, that's all I, I know, it's called Mulgara Battle. One. Um, I don't know if this one's the main theme as well, but um, they sound pretty similar. It, and It's like I the main the... theme of Phantom Hourglass. Alright. And then this, I remember the intro song to Wind Waker, and I remember Rooster Island, or whatever it's called, Dragon Roost Island. Ro Rooster <laughs> Island. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of... Giant chicken. Speaking of roosters, you guys... Well, I'm not gonna spoil what happens in the next episode. But let's just say I hate roosters. Okay. In the next episode of my LP. Well, what have roosters ever done to you? <sighs> horrible, horrible, unspeakable things. I love this galaxy. The Clockwork Galaxy. It's alright. It's pretty annoying, though. I don't know. For, I, don't know I, I always liked it. Like, I don't know. I just always liked it. <laughs> This first bit is right. the, the, the second bit is just so fucking annoying. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I like the parts where like it it, it, I don't know, it has like an Indiana Jones theme. Yeah, an Indiana Jones theme without a boulder chasing you. Yeah, with that boulder, and then like I don't know, pink star. Everything's better in pink. Second song's playing now, and this song's really nostalgic for me. <laughs> okay, let me see what it is. So you know, I can't hear the songs. He has um, yeah, I sent him links, links for me. <laughs> <laughs> links. <laughs> Link, listen. Oh, but the third star in this place is so annoying. You know those spinny things. Like um, things there's a lot of spinny round. things. Like they go round, and you have to jump in the gaps of them to um, avoid getting crushed. You'll see them yeah. in a minute. But um, there you have to you have to climb onto one of them, and you have to go right near to the end of the level. And there's one there, a, a green star there, and you have to like <laughs> try and jump to the green star. But if you miss a tiny little bit, it says that you've jumped too far out of the level and you die, and it's so annoying. I died so many times getting this star. Oh, are you talking about these? Yeah. Or no? Oh. This is actually oh, recorded I think... yesterday, this gameplay. I got so pissed off that I didn't even want to play the rest of this galaxy, so I played the rest of it today. Oh, wow. It just annoys me so much. And the first two stars are <laughs> melt. No, the first star are Melty Monster Galaxy, and the third one annoyed me as well, so that put more rage on top of it. Rage. It really annoyed me. I'm like, uh. Well, well like hey. Stars. I don't. I, don't I, I was about to say something, but then again, I thought I remember this is post commentary. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, like, I, what I find is that many um, uh, people watch um, uh, LPs for the rage factor. That's yeah. that's one of the main. That's one of the things that I like about LPs. Is the rage factor? Alright. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like the rage part of it that much. It's usually just 
I like well, I like if like, they're well, funny or, or if um like um I don't know. Well, if you know it's not really the players. rage. It's it's not really the rage itself. It's just like what people do when they rage. It's funny, like they say the most ridiculous things. Uh, I don't know. I don't really find it all that funny to be honest. Uh, that's yeah. just me. I prefer yeah. like um comedy type funny or my favorite type of LPs are like um I don't know if you watch him, but he's called Clement and um he like basically talks about like the game. And like he gives you loads of information about it. Hmm. So it's like an ex extremely informative. Yeah. I like those too. Like I remember this one LP. -er, I don't remember like who it is, but like I watched like a LP of him slide one, and he gave like really interesting like trivia about like most random things. Like he talked, he told us like so much about like s submarines and stuff. I don't know. It's just very interesting. Oh, yeah. How much stuff? How much random stuff he told us? Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> I love this galaxy too, mainly because yeah. obvious reasons. Mhm. Mm I don't. I don't have any nostalgia for this level, but I still like the level. Cause I never have an N64. I still don't have one. Oh. I didn't really like Super Mario 64. I don't know why. It was. It, it was my first video game ever, but I never really liked it. No. Oh. It's kind of weird. Oh, but, but I, I my, don't but, mind it. My, oh, oh, but my, other, my other, playing, by the way. my other first um, video game other because I got like two like around the same time. But I think I got Mario 64 first. I got the Game Boy Advance version of um, Mario Kart, and yeah, that's possibly still to this day one of my favorite games. Yeah, my first game was Super Frog, but I don't own the game anymore because it was on a console that died. <laughs> wow. I still have my 64 from when I was like, five. <laughs> ah, cool. Of course, I only have four games for it now because I sold most of them. Ah. Let's see. The four games that I still have off the top of my head are um, F-Zero X, which is probably the game I play the most. Um, Pilot Wing 64, Turok 2, which I actually bought recently, and, um, let me remember. Um, I don't remember the last one. If it comes to my head, I'll probably say it. Okay. Well, I just want to say this music that I'm listening to right now is so awesome. <laughs> I love this music. I love the game is from as well. Billy Hatch. Wow, this song is the song is awesome. <laughs> We're in different sections of the song. <laughs> <laughs> And the video is buffering. <laughs> That's a fail. Oh. <laughs> so. Nice now. And now it's. Um, music. Oh, it's another castle music. I just realized that I've put two castle musics in. And they're both from Sega games, and they're both awesome games. Are you, are you playing another song? Yep. Is it the fourth one? Yep. I just started listening to the third one. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, kind of a I, fail. I don't know why all these stars are right on top of the capsule places where you, that you have to open with keys. Every star is level. In, maybe they were invented by Capsule Corp. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get that reference, I feel very sorry for you. Oh, well, the other day, um, I was at my friend's, and we were playing Portal 2. And Portal? <laughs> yeah. Now you're playing with Portals. And we got really far on the co-op mode, and then there was this, like, it's mission... co-op mode? Like, um, yeah. 
and uh, there was this like oh. level where um, you, you, you have to try and make it over to the other side of this place but there's spike walls are crushing you so you have to try and like make yourself fly over to there like you know with the portals and um, it was really hard and by the time we figured out how to do it the game froze and it was so annoying <laughs> And if um, I wow. don't know, you can <laughs> save during the co-op mode, so we couldn't be able to start again. Um, did the call just get, get disconnected for you? No. Oh, because um, like I just got a little message saying internet connection problem. Yeah, that's just the know. connection problem. It's not actually like been disconnected. Oh. Yeah, I can you know it. You know what? Oh, I'm playing Minecraft right now. Okay. Still, I'm listening to awesome music. I'm so lucky I found the star because I I, I forgot to shake the Wii remote to um launch until I launch star, and I fell, and I was like, oh no, and then all of a sudden the green star was there, and I was like, what? what? <laughs> so yeah. I was like, what? 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 Sheik? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'll ever do a Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. It's kind of weird because I actually prefer um, Twilight Princess a lot more than Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I prefer Plus, Wind Waker. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, obviously, because that's like... You always talk about that, but, yeah. Yeah. I have played Ocarina but, of Time, though. Then again, um, uh, then again... Twilight Princess is one of my favorite games of all time, and it was also my first Wii game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ah, uh... yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my favorite game of all time um, is a Sonic game. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. one. No, I'm guessing. No, I don't know a lot of Sonic games. Sonic Generations. No, though it's pretty close to be honest. But I only rented it out, so I should be getting the game tomorrow. Sonic awesome. Colors. No. You'll have to wait until I OP the game, and then I'm gonna be like shouting down the mic, like, "Whoa, yay! The best Sonic game ever!" So yeah, I'm not gonna say it until then. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on the bright side, you didn't say Sonic Genesis, but yeah. I didn't know that was the Sonic Genesis. Well, I wouldn't say I hate Sonic 06, it's just. It's really bad. Like, like um, I, don't, I can play it and I find it bearable. You just have to get used to the controls and the hit collision detection and just don't rage and you'll have a, a right time with it. Rage! <laughs> But if you like um, play the story, especially Sonic story, then it's pretty shit. Yeah, especially that's what I usually do. Play the yeah. story. Especially with all the. Of course, then again, I so really then again I weird. sold that. Game. Then again, I sold yeah. that game too, and I got a pretty solid twenty bucks. So. Mm. That game. I didn't really. Well, I didn't really sell it. I kind of turned it in for like store store credit, so I can buy more games. I live like five minutes away from this place called Game Haven. Okay. If you live in Nevada or Kentucky, then you'd probably have heard of it before. Um, no, I haven't. Well, I'm 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 saying anybody who watches us who's from Nevada or Kentucky, uh. they probably heard of it before. Okay. I've actually been kind of thinking of like getting a job there next year. All right, that's cool. I never knew about that little shortcut. Why have I never known about that little shortcut? I didn't know about it until I got so annoyed with this level that I looked up a guide. <laughs> wow. <sighs> and it's the only time I've done it during this LP. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. I really like this Metroid music, but anyway, I'm gonna go now, so see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.